T-Public tutorial for beginners. Let's go with our registration part. So let's go to create an account. Okay, so what you can do is you can write your first name, last name. I already made mine. So to, let's say tutorials, 101 tutorials at gmail.com. Your country, let's say th uh, Thailand and mm -hmm, password. And then once you have started making your password and account, you can now start clicking on create my account. Now, there are many things that will uh, they will ask you. So for now, I already made my account. So probably they will ask you if you're familiar with this or if you are new to this. And they will ask for verifications when you start logging in. All right, so just access your email and everything will be good to go. All right, so now I have access to my accounts now. Now I have logged in. By the way, you also have an option to start creator designs. Like if you are a really creative artist and have popular designs on demand, you can go to that because they specialize on how they, these artists are going to be paid and more products to come to you. Now, let's start with uploading an art. So. First of all, once you have accessed your account, you can see all things. If you hover on the top right, okay, you have your accounts, and you can see how much you have earned, next payment, total lifetime, items sold. And now, what you're going to be doing now is you have to start uploading your design, right? Now, on this design, they were asking you to give an PNG file of your artwork, and then you can also use the multi-file uploader, which is going to be very convenient for you if you already have your own designs before you even register to TeePublic for selling your different designs, right? So it will give you a library or probably your album, a set of uh, your artwork. And so people can choose their designs and then they will be choosing the products that they want. They, be, they could be t-shirts, hoodies, tank tops, stickers, and so on and so forth. Now, let's say I'm going to upload one of my artworks. So I have here. A photo that I have already prepared. So now once you have started uploading your design, you can now go to the title. So let's say my design is um, mountains. Uh, like say mountains and rivers. And rivers. I think mine is lake. So mountains and lakes. So now the main tag is uh, you have to give them at least one tag. Like It's like a subtopic. So when they search for mountain, they will show up your design. Now, add descriptions to your design to make it more why they want to buy it and what are they used for. So just be creative, be uh, constructive in everything that can help you sell your design. Now, you can also add tags, all right? So let's say I have mountains. Again, let's put some mountains in it. Oh, sorry, mountains. We could also add, uh, let's say, nature. Okay, mountains. Oh, so they also have really great way of, of adding tags. They also give you suggestions already. Hiking, we can add adventure. Yeah, I think travel. Because I think I would, I would wear this for traveling or camping. So now, moving forward, what else do we have here? Okay. Um, let's say my design is for people who loves mountains and lakes. So now, does this design contain mature content? Okay, now you can also check out the facts on what they are uh, limiting out on posting because your artwork might be banned or maybe they will not allow it to be sold because of some mature content. Probably there's, if you have like an anime, right? Animes usually have images or graphics like the guns, blood, or nudity. So if they have that kind of feature on your artwork, you could just click on uh, yes. All right, so technically in my picture, I don't have anything in there, so I'll just say no. The next part is going to be you're going to be choosing, all right, uh, the different type of products that you're going to be selling. So now you have like t-shirts, hoodies, tanks, right, crew neck. Oh, yeah, they also give you some examples on how it's going to be looking like, right, kids hoodie, body, baby bodysuit. You can also have a uh, print on back only or print on front and back. You can also add another design by clicking on replace back image. So if you want text in the front and then pictures at the back, uh, but then it's going to be perfect for you. Colored, right? You have two tones. So you have to choose different default colors also, right? So you can switch all the colors or designs. As you can see, all right? So choose what's best for each of their designs. 
So you could have like a set default color or whatever you want. Just choose the best color that fits your design, so whatever you want. Right? But if you don't want to sell them on, let's say, baby's bodysuit, if they don't want them you know, applicable to be sold for them, you just have to click off. Right? And then choose only the best uh, options that fits your needs for selling your designs. So right now, probably the best option is just choose everything, right? Because you will never know who's going to buy it. You can also adjust the scale on how big is going to be the shirt is. You can adjust where it's going to be placed, right? But I'm not sure about the exact size of the scale because I think it's the optimal scale that they have here, right? So they can also have some placement tools to keep it easier for you to find out here, right? So let's just say I'll go to 100% because uh, I'm just starting out this uh, main designs, right? Okay, let's center it up. Uh, the product colors is going to be the background colors that you want to make available for your enabled products. So you can choose whatever you like so they can visualize what color is the best for their for the design. So they can choose, oh, like maybe this color is good for, maybe this shirt color is good for this design. So you can, you can all add them all together. But if you don't want to put like, the, for example, this um, tie-dye color shirt, Probably, if you don't like this idea, you can just tick them off, so they will not see them in options also. But I would say just click them all because it's going to be very helpful for. Maybe you will never know what people like or colors. Now you can also configure other products if you want them to be mugs, stickers, cases, wall art, pillows. Well, technically, wall art is impossible because when I uploaded this, it says your image isn't large enough to support wall art options. So you could just tick them off, but. All right, but uploading uh, an, a picture should require you to have at least 1,500 pixels by 1,995. It's not including also transparent pixels, so my design is really not optimal, right, for for selling. So to enable all products, you must have at least uh, 5,000 by 5,500 pixels. So I would recommend just uploading this. So when you start selling wall art designs, you can just tick them on because some people might enjoy having this kind of designs. Once you're happy with your design and products, you can now start publish. Or you can also save for later if you're not sure yet. But now, let's say I want, I'm done with my work and I want to publish it. So yeah, click on publish. And now it will be posted on your profile. All right. So remember, your profile is the, one of the most important uh, parts of this account because people will look at your profile and they will say, oh, uh, my your profile doesn't have profile picture, don't have design. So uh, as a creator, as a designer, you should also design your profile as your artwork should be. They have different sizes, okay? And then the prices vary on different sizes. And they could choose different ways and how they're going to view it all right so the colors all right so the colors the shirt all right they also have female fit and male fit all right so now when selling your design they have a three-day duration a three days duration to give it for a discount first because it helps your product to be sold as fast as possible because people liked discounts and then when uh, your product is sold, you will be having a record saying uh, one of your designs have been sold, and it will be a good record for your account. Right? Now, they also have different tags to uh, help you expand uh, your product designs. Okay, so now remember to fix your account, and maybe add some designs for your uh, store. So just go to your view my store. And then upload. Remember to upload your cover photo. So right now I don't have any. So the icon, the cover photo, whatever you want that can fit your designs, and needs, uh, profile. So your storefront will be very good for people to buy your products. Now this is how you start uploading your designs in TeePublic. All right. So now that you have finished uploading your your artwork and you start selling your shirts so keep on designing more designs or artworks that fits uh, the pop culture needs so now I just want to tell you that this is the end of the tutorial there are so many things that you could still cover up uh, offer you you could go over to the facts and they will show you uh, uh, the designers and customers and merch programs that they offer you
Okay, if you go over the facts, they will give you a lot of in more information towards their website, including special promotions that they offer and probably a potential buyer to make a purchase. All right. So now I think that's it. And then if you want to know more about Tee Public, just go over their facts or you can go over their information at the bottom part of their website. So congratulations, you've completed our T public tutorial for beginners. By now you should have a solid understanding of how to create and sell your designs on T public. Remember that success on T public takes time and effort, so don't be discouraged. So take advantage of using social media integrations and so you could also get inspiration from their website dashboard. All right? So now keep uh, engaging with your audience and refining your storefront to grow your presence on the platform. We wish you all the best of luck on your journey as a print-on-demand artist. So now, if you if this tutorial helped you a lot, considering uh, liking this video and subscribing to our channel. And that will be all, and I'll see you soon.